This presentation is about the digital static tracking system developed by Hood Technology Corporation for the Naval Surface Warfare Division located in Crane, Indiana. My name is Andreas von Floro. I'm one of the engineers who developed this project. Hood Technology is a family owned engineering business located in Oregon. We specialize in controls, and some of our products include stabilized UAS imaging payloads, active UAS launch and recovery equipment, vibration measurement and attenuation equipment, and we do host R&D facilities for prototype development. The digital static tracking system was developed to offer an alternative to legacy synothiotolites, which are used for tracking phosphorus decoy flares, uh, research and development procedures done by Crane. The DSTS for short is a modular system which can be fitted with different imagers. For example, it can also use an infrared imager instead of the electro-optical, which is currently equipped. The DSTS is lighter, more transportable, for example, by a small pickup truck and can be operated by only three people. It also offers accuracy levels of centimeter. This slide shows some examples of the legacy synothiotolites, which are big and impressive machines, but they are not ideal for rapid field deployment or use by small groups. Here, a digital static tracking system node is shown with the equipment called out. Each of three nodes includes a surveyor's theodolite on top of which the imager and lens are mounted. The lens is calibrated to the pixel grid. Video is recorded to a digital video recorder. A minimum of three installations are required for accurate triangulation, but errors in one installation can be corrected by the other two. Images are synchronized using the GPS pulse per second. The entire setup is powered by a battery and can be left switched on indefinitely using solar panels or can be plugged into the grid. This project has been running for approximately one and a half years working to create a prototype of the digital static tracking system. The equipment has been demonstrated on three separate field deployments and has been handed off to the end users in Indiana. Future iterations and development are under discussion and funding is being sought. The digital static tracking system is highly modular, packable, and designed for rapid field deployment. It is able to track any object through any translucent medium. Training of the crew how to use the digital static tracking system has been completed and the equipment has been handed off. The graph on this slide shows data collected during one of the training sessions during which an A-10 Warthog flew by and dropped some phosphorus decoy flares. The flight trajectory of the fighter jet is shown in blue and the trajectory of the falling decoy flare recorded by the digital tra static tracking system is shown in red. Auto detection and trajectory mapping algorithms were used. I apologize for the difficult to read slide. The white background for whatever reason is not being uploaded 
Nevertheless, this equipment can be used for any photogrammetric triangulation tracking. For example, a boat through the river, or a car on a road, or an aircraft through the sky. Funding for phase two of this project is being organized based on a list of new desired features. The wish list includes features which will make the equipment more rugged, more user friendly, and able to track other flares and collect other information such as irradiance. Hood Technology created this presentation to offer the digital static tracking system to other end users and for other tracking purposes. Maybe this equipment could be used to track hypersonic missiles. If you have a use for this equipment, please reach out and let us know. Thank you for your attention.